All right, so welcome back. In the last episode, we learned how to download assets from the Quixel Megascans um, library. And in this episode, I want to teach you like, okay, so if you have your room built out, um, if you notice the key is right there at the top of the ceiling, I want to teach you how to make stuff move. So watch when I walk over to this red thing, the key is going to start coming down from the ceiling. And that's what we're going to do today. You can get the key and you can go. So if you're uh, down with learning that today, it's probably going to be a short video because that does not take too long. But let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, cool. Before we get started, though, let's go ahead and make some changes to the Mega Scans content. Some of you may have some of the Mega Scans content, and you notice that if you walk into it, you can walk right through it. So let's actually fix that before we go on, just in case you don't know how to fix that. If you don't know how to fix that, come over to the mesh and double click on the static mesh and you're going to be able to go here and what you want to do is you want to give it some collision so instead of saying collision project default say use complex as simple save and then it, if you want to make sure that the collision is there press apply down here and you're going to see it pop up and then you can save again and X so now when we walk into it there's going to be collision on both those statues can't walk through them no more so just do that on anything that you can click through and then we're going to go through the code um, I'll do mine later but we'll go through the code of making this stuff move all right so first things first you have your BP key here remember we made that key in a, a last episode or I don't know it was like maybe two three episodes ago but what we're gonna do is we're gonna alter the key so it looks like this so, in order to do that, what we need to do is double click on your key, and we're going to go to the viewport. <clears throat> it, should, it should look like this. Um, yours may be blue, but that's okay. Come over here to add, and type in static mesh, and we're going to add a static mesh. And for the type of mesh, we're going to add a cylinder over here. So type in cylinder. Perfect. So now um, we need to make the cylinder look like a rope, like the size of a rope. Like so, make it smaller and then taller. You know, make it good and nice and good length. All right. <clears throat> now I got some rope um, material from Quixel Mega Scans. So all you have to do is go into Add Mega Scans or Quixel Content and search for rope, and you're gonna get the same stuff that I got. So mine was a material, a rope material, and that's what I'm going to be using. So we'll put that right there, and now we've got a rope. So there we go, almost done. <clears throat> Next thing you need to do is come back up to your key, add a box collision. Now you can make this box bigger right here, but you don't have to. Um, you really don't have to. We'll do this in the game. So compile and save. Then what you want to do is you want to come and let's place this stuff into your level. So I'm going to delete mine right here. And I'm going to replace it into my level. So I'm going to go back and take my key that we just made, which was in third person, blueprints. Here's my BP key. And it has a rope on it. So cool. I'll take that rope and put it all the way through the ceiling so that only I can see my key now hanging all right perfect now in order for this to work right we have to take that box and we have to move it where we want it so <clears throat> while your key is selected come over to the right select the box and now when we move the key around we're only going to be moving the box so move your box right in front of the red and make it bigger so we can press R and make it a little bit bigger and we can make it thicker too, I like thickness. All right, <clears throat> cool. That's all set up. Last thing we have to set up is the code. So let's set up the code to make this fall from the ceiling. So go back into your BP key, double click on it. And this is the code that we had last time. We need to put some more code here. So come on the left hand side and click on your box. Scroll all the way down to the, on the right and say, 
on begin overlap. So that one. We want the third person character, so you can copy and paste. Now, when the third person character overlaps that box, we need the whole static mesh to move. So let's take this part right here. So everything underneath it. So that means it's going to move the static mesh, the sphere, the, the box, and everything. And we want that to move. So we're going to say move component to. And then you hook that right into the move. Now, here we can control how fast we want it to move. I'm going to make mine move over the course of five seconds and ease in and out. That makes it like really smooth when it's going to stop and when it starts. So that, those are cool. But before we finish, we need to drag off the static mesh and say get relative rotation. Once you have your relative rotation, you can hook it right up to the rotation here. And then drag off of it one more time and say get relative location. Now, from the relative location, we're going to do something different here. So what you want to do is say a minus, because this is how, or subtract, this is how far it's going to come down from the ceiling. And I've noticed that like 150 on the Z is a good, um, is good for me. Yours might be different depending on how you built your room, but once you hook that up, that should be completed. You can press complete or compile and save <clears throat> and then let's test it out so you press play you can see my box up there and walk into the red now this is a problem that you may have and look it tells us the error it's the mobility all that means is that we haven't set our static mesh to the key to move so come back into your BP key make sure the self is clicked or actually it's make sure static mesh right here is clicked and then come over to the right hand side and say movable. Now that that's good, everything underneath it should also be movable. So let's test it out one more time. And there we go. There's my key coming down. And I can just grab it and open the door. So, yeah. That's how you make stuff move in your level. There's another way. Um, in the next episode, we're going to play with some level blueprints because there's other ways we can make things move and interact in this level. But I just wanted to show you that real quick, and hopefully that helps you advance uh, the game that you're building. So I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Peace.